Alright, so this is just a quick how to and how to fillet some of the most common fish we catch in this area with an electric fillet knife. We'll start with the two that people seem to struggle with the most. This is a white bass. I'm just going to start like I normally do. I don't want to cut here. I want to kind of angle my knife to get all this meat in this area here where the majority of the meat is. Cut down to get the spine. Turn your knife. You're left with the rib cage and the skin. We want to remove the rib cage. Take the meat off the skin. On the other side of that, you'll see that red meat. Just kind of want to trim all that off of there. So what I like to do with white bass is just keep the upper part of the fillet. And just get the majority of it off. You can see there's some left here, a little bit there, but the majority of it's gone. That's pretty nice, clean white fillet. Next fish I want to take a look at is a catfish. I like to lay them down flat, and you can see these spines lock out. So I take them to the edge of the board, start at the tail, make one cut down where I can put my fingers to hold on to the fish, make a second cut, and then go toward the rib cage. Until I hit the ribs, stop there, put the fish on its belly. That's the part you gotta just kind of get a feel for. Left with skin, a little bit of rib cage, a rib cage. I knock that off. Take off the skin. If you get pretty good at this, you can try to leave your knife high. And that'll leave some of that darker stuff there on the skin. You see the part where the dark stuff was left behind is missing from the skin. You definitely want to get rid of that. That's what makes the catfish taste bad. So what I like to do is just kind of trim that by putting pressure down in the center of the fillet. And just get the majority of that dark stuff off of there. Cleans it up pretty good. And then two more things that I do. You see on the top of the fillet it's pretty yellow. There's a little bit of that in the belly as well. So I'll just knock off the bottom portion of the belly and take just a quarter inch or just a little bit off the top of the fillet. You don't have to get it all. And again, you're left with a pretty nice white fillet there. Next fish we'll take a look at is a delicious sheephead or a freshwater drum. Angle in behind the head. The thing you'll notice about sheephead is there's not a lot of meat on them to the size of fish. They're rather thin. And again, a little mistake there. I'll trim off the rib cage. Take the meat off the skin. And that red stuff that's left over, if you leave your knife high, most of that will stay on the skin. And again, you're left with a pretty nice white fillet. That's about as white as it gets. Next fish we'll have a look at here is a crappie. Crappies have more belly meat available around the rib cage. So I'll we'll start with that angled cut again behind the head. You don't want to force your knife, just let your knife cut, kind of like running a chainsaw. Tricky part. Just leave some of that belly meat on there. The crappies aren't very bad for that mud vein or that red stuff. So you can get away with kind of leaving that on there. Again, nice white fillet. Here's the walleye. These are the easiest ones to fillet, I think. Almost like they're made for it. Take off the rib cage. And then I like to trim, take the skin off the meat. I like to trim this little bit of bones here off of my fillet.
like that catfish might have got him in the live well. And that's what you're left with there. A nice clean fillet again. So that's pretty much it, folks. That's how you fillet the majority of the fish that you'll catch in this area that we commonly eat.